Welcome to Layer of the Alchemist, and on today's episode, more debut albums. And for this episode, we're doing a debut EP, and we're going to be talking about Rats' first EP, their self-titled EP. This was originally released on their time, their own Time Coast label, and uh, after the success of Out of the Cellar, it was reissued uh, right after Out of the Cellar. Uh, by Atlantic Records, and the mix was cleaned up a little bit so that it fell more in line with Out of the Cellar. And they also changed the back cover here. It's a shot at a band. It's a little bit more glammy. There's another version of the of this, too, a European version that has You're in Trouble on it. Now, I have, this is called the You're in Trouble EP, this has the rich from what my ears can tell. I've never heard the actual original mix of uh, the self-titled EP, the Time Coast version of it. But this version on here is different. I'm assuming that this is the original version, and I can't even read on the back here what it, what it says on the back of here. This also has You're in Trouble on it, which was on when Atlantic reissued it. It was uh, only on the European version. This is released by... The label here is Target. You can see right there, that's the label for the You're in Trouble EP. And it says on the back, let there be no confusion. Six of the seven performances on this record were previously released in the United States as the EP Rat. This EP contains one additional performance by Rat, You're in Trouble, which previously was only released in England. And if you notice, this is the picture that's on the back of the original uh, the original Time Coast version of the EP. When I first started listening to this, I was like, wow. I, before I re re read the history, I was like, wow, does this sound good? This sounds just as good as out of the cellar. Well, that sort of explains it. And if you hear the mixes on this version, they're definitely a lot more, uh, they're not as clean sounding. They're not as slick sounding, which is cool. I mean, I, I like it. Uh, I actually prefer this one a little bit because I get You're in Trouble on here. And that's, different than the uh, studio version uh, from later on. It's it's a little slower. It just has a little bit of a different feel to it. Same thing with, uh, uh, same thing with uh, uh, You Think You're Tough. That I really like the version on here because it's, uh, it's a little slower. It sounds a little bit heavier. It's got a little bit more of a plotting feel, which I think is really cool. So I do really like that. Uh, let's see what else we got on here. There is a song called Sweet Cheater, which is cool. This is kind of classic rap. You know, one thing that, it, as I was listening to this, really made me realize how together Rat was when they released their first record. I mean, you think of, for instance, Twisted Sisters' first record, or you think of, and they were pretty close to their sound, I would say, with with Under the Blade. But uh, the first Motley Crue record, you know, is very glammy. Uh, Shout out the devil is, is, is kind of darker. But this just sounds like rat. I mean, it sounds like what you're hearing on Out of the Cellar. They're, they really had their sound together right from the word go here. Okay, what else we got here? You got it. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, upbeat one. Uh, Tell the world. What I find interesting about that one. And let me make sure I got that on the right. Uh, yeah, Tell the world. Now, Jakey e. Lee was originally in Rat when it was called Mickey Rat, and I've read stories, Jake and Warren D. Martini talk about how they were roommates and stuff like that. That opening riff sounds a lot like something Jake would do. It sounds like Bark at the Moon. It's got that kind of like that type of upper string chord bouncing off of an, bouncing off of uh, the open strings. So I can't help but wonder if that was an early riff from them. Uh, I don't know, you know, when Jake was involved in the band but otherwise it's pretty cool uh back for more that also appears on out of the cellar and uh this is a different version it's a little bit slower i i love the mix on it especially on here this, now this is one where i'd love the mix of back for more on this one it's real punchy it has a little bit more space it's a little more open to it a little bit more of a vibe to it which i really like and then the album ends with walk in the dog which is a blues cover I'm guessing that uh, Aerosmith did version of this, so they're sort of nodding to Aerosmith as a lot of the L.A. glam bands were influenced by Aerosmith. Ah, it's forgettable, uh, Walking the Dog. That's one of those co covers. It's probably been covered 
uh, too many times. But it's interesting because hearing Rat do it, it sounds like Rat. It's like they have their own sound, and when they put it on something, it sounds like a Rat song. If you didn't know any better, you would think it was just another m- another Rat song because, again, they have this sound. Robin Crosby, Warren D. Martini, uh, Stephen Piercy, his voice, Bobby Blotzer. It's it's. It's all the uh, it's all the guys uh, here. Uh, who did I warn? Uh, uh, Crucier, uh, Juan Crucier. Sorry. So it's it's the classic classic lineup on here. Although from what I read on uh, Wikipedia, it says that the version of "You're in Trouble" is believed to feature Joey Cristofan Neely on bass guitar. Uh, he played with Magic Rough Cut. Jaguar, so I guess they're very original, original basis, not confirmed, but I guess it's rumored that uh, he plays on this. So, okay, has anybody uh, heard this out here? What do you think of these different mixes? Which one do you like? Uh, I think that they're both good. This is kind of charming in a lo fi way. This sounds really punchy and really. Uh, really strong sounding. So I like them both for different reasons. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have uh, have these recordings. Let me know what you think down below. To see you again next Thursday, Thursday Metal.